Peace, peace, family. So I'm back with another one. So today what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk to my chosen ones about the expectations we do set for the people and the places that we choose to go to and to be around. You know, I know a lot of people and the new saying is, you know, don't set expectations up for people and don't expect certain things from people and blah, blah, blah with the expectations. But we also have to understand that Expectations is also a word spell as well. You know what I'm saying? And for me, just being wholeheartedly real about the situation and honest, like, I set expectations. Like, when I go to my favorite corner store, I expect it to have a certain energy about that location. Why I always go there. I always expect the cashiers who work there, which is usually they're all family, they always usually have a certain kind of energy they present to the people when they come into their stores. That's an expectation. You know what I'm saying? You set an expectation when you meet somebody, whether via social media or whether in real lifetime. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're continuously seeing them. You're setting an expectation. But during this spiritual time, this spiritual war that's going on that's really coming to the forefront for everybody who has been brainwashed. It's like some of the people that's trying to teach certain tactics will be telling you to not set expectations of other people so that way you won't be disappointed. But the thing about that is that's when I, when I think about it and when I put myself in that place and when I experience it, that's not how it actually happens. If I'm not setting the expectation for somebody, I, I couldn't even fathom it that way. What would happen is I'm meeting somebody, the expectation is set there, but if I respond a certain way all the time because I'm expecting them to react or re respond or communicate how they do, then I, 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 I change my communication skills with them. You know, I change my response with them and I also work on my reaction with them you know what I'm saying so it, it's not that's something that I have control over that I can manage but that doesn't change the fact that we still set expectations why do you think we have to get to a phase in our life in our journey where we got to be like okay well I had to grow past what my mom or my dad or my parents did to me we had expectations for them you know whether we knew that they was there in a healthy manner or unhealthy manner it was expectations set there and they were not met and we had to acknowledge and realize okay well we only can do something about how we feel about it how we time travel to that space and how we're responding and reacting when we communicate about it outwardly but as far as the expectations, man, it's, it's real. We do set expectations. You know, I hate to see people in such a, a gullible, la-la land state. You know, like, it's a really bad space to be in. And if you understand that we do set expectations, you know, it's like when people say, don't judge a book by its cover. But when I was a little kid, I don't like to say when I was a little kid. When I was a little human, because I know a little kid is a baby goat. When I was a little human, when I would go to the library or do these things with the school, I judged the book. That's what I did. I, it was too many books to choose from. So I looked at the front. I looked at the back. I flipped through the pages to see how many pictures was on each page. And I decided if I if it was worth reading that was that's me judging the book because there's an expectation being set okay well if I get this book I'm saying it, it, it got to be really good so if I grab a book I'm expecting it to be good so I'm gonna have to judge the book before I grab it but see the way these word spells work it'll have you thinking oh yeah well, well we shouldn't judge that or well yeah 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 you shouldn't you shouldn't set expectations why would you do anything in life if you don't set expectations? When I played sports, I expected to win, motherfucker. Even if I didn't win, I got on the court expecting to win. When I got into fights, I expected to win. I set expectations. If I'm dealing with somebody, 
I'm allowing myself in their space and I'm allowing them in my space because their expectations set. Whether the expectations are being met is on me to work on how I manage my energy and emotion. But we do set expectations. That's just point blank period. You know, I wouldn't, we wouldn't, deal, a lot of us wouldn't deal with a lot of people. We wouldn't go to the places we go to if we didn't have these expectations of these locations. You know, a lot of people like to choose Target over Walmart because they have different expectations. They're like, oh, okay, well, I expect Walmart to be a little bit chaos. I expect their energy to be a little weird because it has different beings coming in there. Okay, well, I expect Target to be a little bit more subtle, more upscale. It's a mom store, so it caters to female, and it's more upriced. So it eliminates certain crowds of people that come through that location. You know what I'm saying? So we have expectations for locations. We have expectations we set for the beings we are around by choice. We don't really set expectations for people we're around by force. So if you're working with somebody, I mean, you can say you expect them to do their job, but in all actuality, you already know you had a plantation and we all know that motherfuckers just don't be doing their job. So like jobs, locations like that, th these are places where you would get a little bit more wiggle room because yes, technically your job is by choice because you don't have to fucking work there. But the way that the masters set up this plantation right you have to survive so if that's your job by force you know a forceful choice then that's one thing but all of us isn't always in that position where we have you know all right well we wouldn't be affected too much if we just said fuck this job you know and we probably would be able to manage that better if we had a better understanding that how we focus our energy is what creates our realm and reality outside of us. You know what I'm saying? So even with me getting to this space I'm in now, just me personally, like I knew that I didn't want to work a bill job. I know what I'm doing now. It's not funding a tremendous lifestyle that I want to live. I actually invested more into everything that I'm doing than I'm getting in return. But what happens is the, I put more I, I always put a shit ton of energy into the universe, but what it is is it's more aware and directed energy going into the universe, into the areas where I needed to go at. So the universe just always makes sure that I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to be out here rich and balling all over the place. In my world, I always just want it to be situated to where, okay, I don't want to have to go to a build job. I'm expected to go to a build job because that's how you're supposed to live and survive you know they don't tell you if you believe in yourself and you push yourself and, and devote yourself to your your purpose or to your team everybody doesn't have a great purpose it wouldn't be sheep out here if everybody had a great this not everybody is not a lion god damn it there are sheep out here so and that's just looking at it on a simplistic form not as far as the spiritual war that's going on you know what i'm saying so for me, it's, I just, I try to be as honest with myself as I possibly can. Doesn't matter if I got fucking shit that's going on low vibrational or shit that's going on up here. You know what I'm saying? But I try to be as honest as I can about myself, even if it hurts. Because the way I was raised in my cult, like household, like, that's... I, I've been spiritually manipulated with and abused my entire life. You know what I'm saying? But the more I, I'm with my daughter and I spend this time with her and we do this, I realize I don't teach her as many things as I do because we have a special way of not focusing our energy on those things. When we're kids, we focus more on what we do have control over. You know, so... At this point in time, it's like, I, I, look, I just expect her to keep doing what she's doing. And I, I wouldn't put anything more up there to have her being in the space diving deeper than what she needs to be in this chapter that she's in right now. You know what I'm saying? But as far as the expectations, we set them for everybody. I don't give a fuck if they're your homeboys, your cousins, 
whoever you're around, people you on the game with, people you walk around the block with, you know, people you travel with, it doesn't matter. There are expectations set. Because if it wasn't, the thing is, it's like, okay, well, if you go around somebody, okay, well, I don't have any expectations set, and somebody just blow your motherfucking head off, well, you just be on to your next journey. That's not how our sensory system is set up. And that's how not it, your self-preservation isn't even set up that way. Like your body, like you really have to fight your body <laughs> in order to go against the grain. And a lot of us is out here doing it right now. But you have to understand that you set expectations. That's just the facts of it. Now, how you choose to respond and how much you choose to be in that energy, sit in that energy is completely up to you you know what i'm saying but i ain't want to run it up too long you know what i'm saying y'all tapping everything down below peace and love to the kings and queens